Hello and welcome to another video from ERP videos. We are now looking at uh, the S4 HANA 1809 FSB02, uh, which is the latest version as of 2019 August. Uh, as you can see, this is a Windows machine and uh, due to customer feedback, we've uh, changed the way we do uh, our uh, releases for HANA and S4 HANA. It's not, no longer a dual instance. Previously, we had the HANA running on one instance and the front end running on a Windows instance separately. But we figured since we switched to Hyper-V, everybody has a Windows machine already. So we just have to provide the Linux part. So we consolidated both the front end and the database into a single virtual machine. So this enables to run on lower RAM on the host server. So here, this is a virtual uh, Hyper-V server. I have multiple Hyper-Vs. And uh, once you import the virtual machine, you will see it come up like this. All right, and uh, first thing to do is go into settings, set your RAM, your processor, and your network. So your processor can be whatever it is, um, increase it, decrease it, depending on your core count. RAM, I highly recommend giving 2065 or more. So if you have 128, increase that to 128. Uh, I left the weightage at high because uh, I want to prioritize this virtual machine over the other virtual machines. All right, so once you're ready, press connect and we will start the virtual machine. So along while it's starting up uh, uh, on the Windows machine, we will give you the SAP GUI file and the HANA Studio file to install. So once you install and run it, you should see an empty shell like this. And a GUI also is empty and we're going to configure it in this video. All right, so uh, try to keep it as uh, concise and as quick as possible. All right, so once it boots up, uh, we log into the root folder and the password will be given to you by email. Uh, and uh, TeamViewer is installed. We're going to close all of that. First thing to do is open terminal, ifcunfig, ifconfig, and verify the host name by typing host name. I'm going to copy this so this number is very important this is your ip so if you know how to create static ips and and static routes in your uh, uh, router or your uh, modem i highly recommend you make that ip a static ip so it doesn't change you edit the file replace this ip address with whatever ip you see in the terminal screen press ok don't change anything else just press ok and uh, close this thing Next thing you're going to do is going to su slash l hdbadm, which is the HANA database. This number here means that it is that is an instance, so it's instance 02. So you need that for configuring your HANA studio. We're going to go and start HDB. Previously, we used to have HDB um, running automatically as soon as the VM starts, HDB starts, but that created a lot of problems for our, our users. So we now do a manual start to start HTB, HTB, S-T-A-R-T. Oh, this is a bit confusing. Start, there you go. Because in Windows, you have to capitalize. I mean, in uh, when you come into the yes, uh, the HANA user, you have to capitalize the first letter for everything. So uh, while the HANA is starting, we will go ahead and configure our host file. All right, so create a new shortcut. And I'm going to go C drive slash Windows. I'm going to select slash SYSD you know, system32 slash uh, drivers slash ETC slash HOSDS. So that is the host file. I'm going to create a shortcut on my desktop. Finish. And the host file is here. So double click the host file, edit with Notepad. And we're going to add a line such as this. Okay, that is a uh, okay 137. So whatever IP is on your server that you saw over here, IFC or NFIG, whatever that IP is, that is your IP and that is your host name. All right. So once you save that, you can you can make sure that you did the right thing by command ping ping. 1809 UDM and it should get a reply and there you go okay so that means it's working fine so now our HANA has started again your wait times might be different so do not compare I'm going to exit this and 
SU slash L very important now. We don't use S for reach anymore because the license we're using is a preview demo license and SAP will not let you use S for reach SID. We use A for H ADM. So that is the new uh, S for HANA SID A for H. So remember that if you bought our previous virtual machines, it's always been S for H. We've changed it to A for H in accordance with the SAP rules and regulations. So A for H ADM, the password, um, the command, just press up, keep pressing up, oh, nothing there. So we need to type the command in manually. Okay, so we're uh, CONTR or SAP control slash NR slash, uh, the SID is uh, I think zero zero uh, slash FUNCTIN SDART ART. All right, and we also have to start the zero one function, start as well. And once we do that, the function is G E T P R O C S S L I S T. Again, every letter has to be every uh, main letter has to be capitalized, so it's different. So you can see it's green, 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 green. Uh, we're going to see if my zero zero is green. Yes, all green. So it's very quick. Uh, now you go into GUI and you configure GUI, and you can oh. Sorry, wrong GUI. So this is the GUI for Java. We don't want that. We don't want that. We're going to close this virtual machine. Close meaning just going to, it's still running. It's still running, but we close the display. So it's running headless, uh, so to speak, so to speak. So in uh, a new entry connection and press next. And the description is 1809 FSB02. SID is A4H, very important. Instance is 00. Uh, application server is 1809 UDM. Now, if you don't have a static IP and if static IP changes very frequently, just put the actual uh, uh, changes to that host file and then you can continue using this thing. This. All right, press next, uh, high, low speed, whatever it is you want. Okay, so that is added. Now let's add the system as well. Um, new system host name is 18. 1809 um, UDM contain in system number 02 as we saw it's a multiple container and we're going to log into the system all right uh, UDM 1809 SYSTM password is and I'm going to store the password so it opens it up every time I hope the password's right There you go, we got it. All right, so open the administration panel. Configuration manage open administration will give us an idea on, uh, at the same time, I'm gonna open the IDIS as well. All right, so this is our, our HANA Studio working fine. So user is basis and uh, password. All right, guys, there you go, so we have we have real life, everything is here. Uh, you're going to, just to show you a system status screen. Again, we created this license in accordance with SAP, so it's a demo system, um, and uh, you can get unlimited license uh, from SAP directly, free of charge, free of charge. You have to just renew it every three months. Uh, so s for hana Foundation, front-end server, s for hana ABAP, on-premise, you can see it's a latest version, 05 2019. Uh, that is the latest version. As you can see, for getting the UI, we've added some UI components. These are not there in the regular uh, instance. These are add ons that we've added. So X1, HCM, um, the SUI, SFIN, uh, and uh, some of these add ons don't come with it, and we had to add it on separately. So, um, We've done that for you. So everything else uh, is pretty straightforward. So I'm going to exit the screen because this is really, s is really a Fury machine. So um, now we have to go back to the thing to make life easier. You know, we go back here and we open up Chrome or Mozilla. There's, there's no Chrome in, uh, in, 
in Sassy Linux, they use Mozilla, Firefox for everything. So here is the Fury login pad. If we just click on this. We're going to copy the, if I can copy this, it'll be really awesome. And I'm going to open Chrome. I'm going to put this. Nope. It didn't copy it. Oh, that sucks. We just have to. So one eight zero nine, one eight zero nine, U D M. Dot ideas dot C, L O U D. Ideas dot cloud. Port is eight zero zero one. All right, so now we're in advanced. Okay, so we have to put in the whole path. Should have changed that. Um, slash SAP slash PC slash. We can we can get this also from the GUI. I'm gonna log in again and uh, copy that again. BSIS. Um, just trying to be lazy, guys. Um, gonna go. Oh, that is that is the uh, this is the designer. We don't want this. Uh, we don't want the designer. We want the actual fury. So there's another way as well, but I'm just gonna. Anyway, what you have to do is copy this this link here control a control X it's it's really sad that uh, Windows doesn't let you do that so you're going to settings enhance session this is an enhanced session I'm gonna close this cancel um, hyper V settings enhance session used enhance session so why can't I copy that into not really. nope it's not coming all right guys i i was able to copy this manually from uh, the uh, instance window here uh, so i'm going to close all of this and i'm just putting it here and there you go we should be able to log in to so i'm going to close the virtual machine and this is my chrome and I'm going to save that, log on Fury, and the FIORI Fury. Okay. And uh, DMO USCR, there's a demo user. I think that's a user. I don't know. Okay, so it should be really fast. Everything should be really fast. We've created some uh, demo users for you. So to do that, go back into your uh, thing. Oh, sorry, I, I, the old way. Just open your uh, SAP GUI, SU01, and uh, just look at the users that's created. And uh, you should see, see these are the users, SD demo, PP demo, MM demo, FI demo, CO demo, you can create whatever you want from the Fury uh, applications page and add it to your uh, thing. So F-I-O-R-I Fury demo, if you type Fury demo, SAP has a Fury uh, user experience demo. From here, you can pick whatever uh, you want and, and uh, take it, uh, map it. Uh, so discover all the available Fury apps, click on that. Okay, after it's loaded, you uh, you can navigate by navigate by uh, all S for HANA apps, um, all apps, and uh, you know you can get the data from here, and and it's already activated on your end. So configuration, you can see the the details. So the uh, path is right here. And as long as you have that add-on, I mean add-on. So chemical and stuff, this is not part of the normal one. But anything part of the main assets, uh, you know, the ones that are stored, that is part of your main uh, uh, S4HANA, and that is already activated. So you just copy the path 
or activate that path and it should show up. But we've already done that. Almost eight hours of activations have been done. And uh, just for the sake of this video, we'll do one more. Uh, so again, there's no data. There's no data in this. Uh, it's uh, it's a hundred percent. It's a hundred percent. It's a hundred percent. Just uh, you know, um, you can use it for development. There's no the IDAS data whatsoever. So S D D E M. And just to give you an idea. Um, of what we've done or what we've thought and an, uh, an SD guy would be doing. So sales contract, all of that stuff. So again, we've generally done from our ideas, but if you have, or if you work in the field, uh, we're basis consultants, so we didn't follow any particular thing. So we just did it to show you. Again, it should be easy because all the hard part has been done by us. All right, guys, any questions, send us an email. This is available for purchase for $499. Amazing, a lot of work has been done. It is the latest version and it is very quick. You saw how it is with 64 gigs of RAM. Don't forget, 64 gigs of RAM. I'm running 64 gigs of RAM. So, all right, guys, see you in the next video. Oh, one more important thing is we are running SSD. So keep that in mind as well. So SSD, 64 gigs of RAM, you should see similar performance.